Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are gonna use these to make the lemon drop martini. But first, this. All right, so let's get into the lemon drop martini. Now the lemon drop was invented in the 1970s by Norman J. Hobday. He was the founder and proprietor of Henry's Africa Bar in San Francisco that he founded in 1969. Now in the early 90s, this drink was often prepared as a shooter served in a shop glass. And yes, I just said shop glass. <laughs> All right, but we're gonna get into it. Okay, and we're gonna make this as the martini, not as a shot because I like a full-size drink. So the first thing we need to do is we need to prep our glass. And for that, we're gonna rim the glass with a little bit of sugar, but we're not just gonna use sugar, right? What we're going to do is we're going to mix in the zesting of a lemon with the sugar so you get a little bit of the sweet and sour when you do it, all right? And so bear with me for a sec while I beat the crap out of my, uh, my lemon. Oops, I went a little bit over lemon. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're gonna just sort of mix this in here so we get a little bit of both. And I should know better than to uh, not have a rag handy. We're gonna cut our lemon. And I'm gonna use the lemon to rim the edge of the glass. And then, and this will give us both the sugar and the lemon and so we're gonna get two flavors at once added on top of the lemon of the drink, okay? Now the next thing we need, of course, is our shaking glass. And we need two ounces of vodka, and I've got Tito's handmade vodka here. And two ounces works out to 60 mils of vodka. My hand is shaking, what's wrong with me? I must be excited just to try this new drink. We also need one ounce or 30 mils of a simple syrup. Now this is going to make it sweet, but don't worry, we're gonna balance this out a little bit. And you know, I'm actually gonna use three quarters of an ounce or about 22 and a half mils. I just don't like my cocktails super sweet. We also need some triple sec. This is a triple sec is an orange liqueur and we're going to use one ounce or six mils. Now you could use Contro if you wanted, or you could use a different type of orange liqueur, but we wanna make sure that it's not something that is uh, set up with orange or doesn't detract from the flavor. So what works best for you is what you should go with. And now we need some lemon, of course. So the good thing is I already mashed a lemon for us and we need about well, we actually need about an ounce of lemon juice. And these lemons are all over the place. Because apparently this squeezer doesn't like me. And the lemon is so small, I actually have to cut and go into another lemon. Can you believe that? Let's see if I can manage to do this. And I can, just for you. And we're going to use one ounce of lemon juice. Put that there. Now the next thing we need is a little bit of ice. And we're going to shake this for about 10 to 12 seconds. Apparently I'm using some big ice cubes for this. That's okay, it'll bash up the proteins of the citrus really, really well. Oh, you should smell the lemon just coming out of this. The lemon is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna clean my hand off, just make this look good. And now we're gonna strain this using our Hawthorne strainer, but you know what? This has lemon and pulp in this. I wanna make this glass a bit more refined. So I'm gonna make sure that I fine strain this to keep as much of the pulp and everything else and ice shards out of this as I can. Look at that, nice, gorgeous, beautiful in color. And it's a nice opaqueness, but you know what? That's not good enough. I have a little bit of a garnish. I think I need a bit more garnish to this. 
So what I'm going to do is, using a lemon here, I am going to get a small lemon peel and I'm doing this over top of my glass and I'm doing this because this will give me a little bit more of those citrus flavors. Okay. So I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to make this nice and clean. I'm going to trim the edges. And now I'm just going to cut little V notches in here. Because I just want to give it that little flare of something nice. Give this a bit of a cut right here in the center. Look at this sad little lemony. Okay, yeah, it's turned out a little sadder than I expected. But that's okay, we'll get it right. So let's try this, see how it tastes. First of all, I said you can really smell the lemon. You don't notice the vodka or the triple sec at all. Gorgeous, gorgeous color, nice and clean. It's got no floaties in it. That is really good, actually. You would expect it to be a little sharper on the, uh, on the lemon, but it balances through. Oh, and you know what? Just coming through in the back a little bit, I can taste a little bit of the triple sec. It's a delayed taste as it comes out. Mm. Perfect any time of the year. Perfect for a dinner party. Assuming you can do a, very, a much nicer uh, garnish than I can. <laughs> I think anybody can do a nicer garnish than I do. Practice that. Presentation is very, very important. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll put the method and the ingredients down in the description down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. That way you get notified every single time we put up a new video. But if you didn't like this video, you didn't find it entertaining, you didn't find it informative, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to link to. You're up. You're gonna look up. There you go. There you go. There you go. Chest out. Come on, man. I don't have a chest anymore. I haven't been to the, I haven't been to the gym for the last four or five.